Hello friends. So, happy Thursday. Okay, this week's theme is um, favorite movies. Uh, I'm, I've got a lot of favorite movies too, um, and they're sort of all over the place, but um, there are a few that I can watch like over and over and over again and never get tired of them. Um, so the first one that comes to mind is The Princess Bride which I think is like one of the best movies ever, um, even if it is cheesy and ridiculous and not like the book at all. But I mean, which movie adaption is like the book at all? Um, but yeah, it's just, it's great. Uh, another favorite movie of mine is, well, musical slash movies, The Sound of Music, the Julie Andrews one. Um, just because I like the sound of music and I like Julie Andrews and if you have like four hours to sit down and watch a musical about Germany in World War II that or Austria Austria in World War Two then yeah um uh oh Pan's Labyrinth um if you guys have seen it it's in Spanish with English subtitles and it's really violent and graphic and disturbing at parts but it's so good and it makes you cry at the end and I don't cry at anything so um but yeah if you haven't seen it you should just make sure that you know there's no sensitive people around who get uncomfortable at the sight of blood or other things. Um, uh, what else? Um, uh, oh, um, the uh, Lord of the Rings movies. I mean, it's pretty standard, I think. I, but um, yeah, th those are those are the kind of movies that you put in on like a rainy day, when like a rainy Saturday or something and you don't want to go out, and you just pop, you know, Fellowship of the Ring in, and then just sit on the couch and drink, drink, eat soup. Drink? Is it drink or eat soup? Because I'm never really quite sure about that. Some, you can say one or the other, I guess. Depends. Okay, I'm going to stop now. <laughs> um, another favorite movie of mine is, oh, I can't remember the name of it. I know it's a favorite movie of mine, and I can't remember the name. But it's um, it's about this man, and he is a music teacher at a high school, and it follows through like, like thirty years or something. Maybe not that quite that much. And he has a son, and his son is deaf. And then at the end, uh, some like iconic students from the years do a symphony for him. It's called Mister Whatever His Name Is Symphony, and. It's one of those movies that I don't own, and I've never actually, like, sat down and watched the entire thing through. It's like, whenever it's on TV, I'll catch, like, the last half hour, or the first hour, or, you know, like, 20 minutes in the middle or something. But that one is another... Oh, now I want to find the name of it. I'll find it and put it in the description or something. Um, but yeah, that one is an amazing movie as well. Um, and it also gives you lots of feelings. Um... I tend to like a lot more like science fiction um, and fantasy movies. I'm not really fans fan of like comedies or especially not romantic comedies. Um, and I don't like horror at all. <laughs> I've I've seen maybe like four or five horror movies in my entire life, and like hardcore horror movies. I don't just mean like thriller or whatever. Um, and yeah, I I mean, yeah. Anyway, um, so I hope this was interesting enough. I it's still raining and miserable here in Vancouver, but it always is. Okay. Anyway, um, I will see you guys later, and hope you have a nice day. And Bridge, I'll see you tomorrow.